Today we delve into the fascinating world of blogging, where ordinary individuals have turned their passion into profit. Let's start with the incredible journey of Jane Doe, a food blogger who began her journey merely as a hobby. Jane started The Happy Kitchen with a simple mission, to share her love for cooking. Within just a few years, her blog grew into a full-fledged business, earning her a significant six-figure income annually. Now consider John Smith, an adventurous soul who decided to document his globetrotting experiences on his blog, The Wandering Lens. John's stunning photography and engaging storytelling quickly garnered a strong following. As his traffic grew, so did his income. Today, John's blog is his primary source of income, earning him a comfortable seven-figure income each year. But it's not just about food and travel. Meet Mary Johnson, a tech enthusiast, who turned her interest in gadgets into a profitable venture. Through her blog, Techie Talks, Mary provides in-depth reviews and tech news to her followers. Mary's blog is now a respected source in the tech world, and it reels in a cool five-figure income every month. Each of these individuals found a niche they were passionate about and turned it into a lucrative business. But remember, their success didn't come overnight. It took time, consistency, and a lot of hard work. They each wrote multiple blog posts per day, spent countless hours researching, and leveraged modern technologies, such as AI, to optimize their blogs. The blogging world is diverse, with success stories in virtually every niche you can think of. From fashion to finance, DIY to lifestyle, these bloggers have proven that with the right approach, you too can turn your passion into profit. As you can see, blogging can indeed be a lucrative business if done right. Now let's move on to how you can start your own successful blog. The first step in your blogging journey is to choose your niche. This is your area of expertise, the topic that you'll be writing about consistently. It's the intersection between your personal interests and what the market demands. Consider this. What are you passionate about? What are you knowledgeable in? These are potential niches, but passion and knowledge alone aren't enough. Your chosen niche needs to have a demand in the market. Are people searching for content in this area? Is there a community of readers waiting to consume your blog posts? Let's not forget about competition. A profitable niche often has competition, but don't let that discourage you. It validates that there's a market for your blog. Your task is to find your unique angle, your fresh take on the topic that sets you apart from the crowd. Remember, your niche is the foundation of your blog. Choose wisely. Now that you have your niche, it's time to set up your blog. First off, you need to choose a blogging platform. This is essentially the home base for your blog. There are many platforms out there, each with its strengths and weaknesses. WordPress is a popular choice due to its flexibility and extensive features. But don't forget about others like Blogger or Squarespace, which may better suit your needs depending on your tech skills and the level of customization you're after. Next, let's talk about domain names. This is your blog's address on the web, so you want it to be memorable, easy to type, and representative of your content. Think about your niche and what words or phrases are associated with it. Remember, a domain name is a key part of your brand, so choose wisely. Once you've chosen a domain name, you'll need to register it with a domain registrar. This is typically a yearly fee, but it's absolutely essential to securing your blog's identity online. With your domain in hand, it's time to choose a hosting provider. This is the company that stores your blog on its servers and delivers it to readers when they type in your domain name. There are many hosting providers out there, each with different plans and pricing. Consider factors like reliability, speed, customer service, and of course, cost when making your choice. Lastly, let's talk about blog design. This is where you get to decide how your blog looks and feels. You might choose a pre-made theme or hire a designer to create a custom one. Whichever route you go, remember that your design should reflect your niche and your own personal style. It should be easy to navigate and pleasing to the eye. Remember, setting up a blog is just the beginning. It's like setting up shop on a bustling street. You've got the location, the signage, and the interior set up. Now, it's time to stock the shelves and open the doors to customers. With your blog now set up, you're ready to start creating content. Content is king in the blogging world. Let's talk about how to create engaging content. First things first, content creation is not about churning out blog posts like a factory line. It's about producing quality material that your audience finds valuable. The heart of this process is keyword research, which is essentially understanding what your audience is searching for. There are numerous tools available online to help you with this. Once you have a list of keywords, incorporate them naturally into your content, 
Remember, we're writing for humans first, search engines second. But what does quality content mean, you ask? Well, it's content that is informative, well-written, and adds value to your reader's life. It's content that makes your reader think, wow, I learned something new today, or this really helped me solve a problem. It's content that they'll want to share with their friends and come back to your blog for more. Now, let's talk about SEO optimization. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It's the process of tweaking your blog posts so that they rank higher in search engine results. This includes using your keywords in strategic places, like your title and headers, linking to reputable sources and optimizing your images. But remember, while SEO is important, it should never compromise the readability and value of your content. Consistency is another key factor. Establishing a regular posting schedule not only helps you build a loyal readership, but it also keeps your blog fresh and relevant. Whether you choose to post daily, weekly, or monthly, the key is to stick to your schedule. Of course, creating engaging content is not a one-size-fits-all process. It requires a lot of trial and error, and what works for one blog might not work for another. So don't be afraid to experiment, learn from your successes and failures, and continually strive to improve. And remember this, while it might be tempting to focus on quantity to fill your blog, always prioritize quality. Quality content is what will set your blog apart and attract readers, and more readers mean more potential for profit. Now let's get to the part everyone is excited about, making money from your blog. So, how can a blog turn into a cash cow? There are a few proven ways to do this and it's all about choosing the one that fits best with your content and your audience. First up, advertising. This is the most common way bloggers generate income. You can display ads on your blog using services like Google AdSense. You get paid every time a visitor clicks on an ad. The key here is traffic. The more visitors you have, the more potential for ad clicks. Then there's affiliate marketing. This involves promoting a product or service and earning a commission on any sales made through your referral link. The beauty of affiliate marketing is that you can choose products that are relevant to your blog content and audience. Just remember to disclose your affiliate relationships to your readers. Transparency is vital. Sponsored posts are another way to monetize your blog. Companies pay you to write a post about their product or service. It's essential to keep these posts authentic and relevant to your audience, but it can be a great way to make money if done right. Now, if you're a creative type, you might consider selling your own products or services. This could be anything from an ebook or online course to consulting or coaching services. Selling your own products can be very profitable, but it also requires a lot of work and dedication. Lastly, it's crucial to diversify your income streams. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Having multiple sources of income can help you weather any financial storms that might come your way. Remember, monetization takes time. You won't start making money overnight. It's a process that requires patience, persistence, and a lot of hard work. But with the right strategy, you can turn your blog into a profitable business. Monetizing your blog effectively can turn it from a passion project into a profitable business. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We began with inspiring success stories, demonstrating that turning a blog into a profitable business is indeed achievable. We then moved on to the importance of choosing a niche, a vital step that sets the tone for your blog and helps in targeting the right audience. Next, we delved into setting up your blog, understanding the technicalities and the role of a user-friendly interface. We emphasized on creating engaging content, reminding you that quality trumps quantity every time. Your blog posts should resonate with your readers and keep them coming back for more. Finally, we explored monetizing your blog. We discussed various income streams such as affiliate marketing, sponsored posts, and advertising. Remember, diversifying your revenue streams can help stabilize your blogging income. Starting a successful blog is not an overnight process, but with persistence and quality content, you can turn your blog into a profitable business. Happy blogging!